School is almost out for the summer. Today's the last day for thousands of CMS students. While students may get a break, the work never ends for district leaders. Joining us live now is Dr. Crystal Hill, the superintendent of Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools, officially sworn in earlier this week. Good morning, Dr. Hill. It's good to have you here on the show. Good morning. Thank you for having me. How are you feeling this week after officially being sworn in the last week of school? It's an exciting time for you. It is. It's a very exciting time and an exciting time for our students and their families. Um, graduation is, um, we've had several graduations so far and several this weekend and all next week. So yes, it's a very exciting time. Exciting time indeed, but as we were talking about, the work is really beginning for you. What is first at, on the to-do list for Dr. Hill? The first thing is hiring. I'm a strong believer that a strong organization begins with excellence in terms of our workforce. So we are geared up to uh, solidify our leadership teams, our principals, our administrative teams, and of course, looking at making sure that we're hiring the very best and brightest teachers. My goal is to have the very best teachers in front of our 141,000 students each and every day. How do you recruit those teachers and, and keep them? Because this is, a, some, this is something not only CMS is dealing with, but virtually almost every district across the country. Yes, the competition is really steep and our pool is, you know, pretty shallow. Um, our teacher education programs are down in terms of their enrollment, so it's really tough to find um, great talent. Um, but we are using lots of different uh, recruitment strategies. One of the things um, that we are really working on is our teacher residency program that's actually come through our CMS foundation. And that is a program in which we are finding teachers. It's a grow your own program where we have non-traditional teachers that go through a program. And once they finish, they're fully licensed and able to teach in our classrooms. And um, we are also really working closely with partners like Teach for America. We've increased our contract for the number of teachers that we'll be able to hire from that organization, as well as our international uh, partners. Um, from across the world hiring um, international talent, but then of course really working closely with partners like UNC Charlotte, um, all of our historically black colleges and universities, Johnson C. Smith, uh, Queens University, um, all universities just to hire great talent for our students. And Dr. Hill, you're, you're talking about partners right there. Obviously, partnering with parents, it helps. How, how do you better the relationship between parents in the CMS area and the board uh, working with things? Because you guys have the, the boundary changes that are happening right now. How do you improve relations between parents and the board so everybody has a better working relationship? Yeah, communication is key and building relationships is part of that. And I believe that we have to build relationships one by one, one on one. So going out in the community, engaging them, meeting people where they are, inviting parents in and making sure that they understand that families, parents, they are our customers. And so just like any great organization, you know, and you think about great uh, customer service, people always say, um, Chick-fil-A, right? So we want to be an organization where we open our arms, we welcome. I always say that we have to communicate the same thing seven times in seven different ways. You've said, Dr. Hill, that it's going to take time for student performance to improve. How do you do that and make those strides and reach every single student and, and meet them where they are and bring them up to those standards that you want them to walk out of across the stage with? Well, I have, I've had lots of success in my previous roles and, you know, people have talked about size, but when you talk about um, any level of success, it really comes down to having processes, procedures, and systems in place. And when you have strong processes, procedures, and systems in place, uh, success is scalable. So we are, we've been working over the last several months to build out exactly what we expect in every single classroom. And we are launching that with our Summer Leadership Academy, which will be the third week in June. Um, so right after students are out, you talked about the work just beginning. We are ready to go. We're ready to launch with all of our school leaders, our district leaders, and all of our instructional leaders at our schools. So we'll be convening at the convention center downtown and laying out the vision, laying out our expectations 
expectations, how we're going to provide the support, the resources, how we're going to monitor, and also how we're going to hold all of ourselves accountable for the great work that we have to do for our students. And Dr. Hill, for the parents tuning in this morning, I want to give you an opportunity for, for you to tell them who is Dr. Hill. We know you're a proud volleyball mom, but, but who are you for parents who may just be first seeing you for the first time this morning on TV? Yeah, so first and foremost, um, I'm a mom of two beautiful girls, volleyball and tennis. Um, I have a rising senior and a rising ninth grader. We do not live in Mecklenburg County. So right now we're boxing up our house to move here to Charlotte. So trying to figure out where our children are going to go to school. Um, I'm a wife of 20 years um, and I've been in North Carolina, originally born and raised in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So from out west, but North Carolina is home and I love this beautiful state over 25 years as an educator here. And um, I'm just ready to, to get started and get rocking and rolling with this amazing team. And Dr. Hill, what would your homework be for students mm. this summer? My homework would be get outside, enjoy the beautiful fresh air, and read every single day. Reading opens up opportunities and it opens up your mind. So read and get outside and enjoy the fresh air. And I think the last thing that I would say is to do something intentional to help someone else. Look at, at a neighbor, someone who's elderly, a younger sibling, a parent. Just think about a way that you can give back. Um, it doesn't matter what your circumstance is. You always have an opportunity to give back to someone else. And it doesn't cost a penny to be kind. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Dr. Hill, welcome officially to your new role, and thank you for joining us. We do hope that uh, continuing along and opening up that communication that you'll join us back here on the show in the future. Absolutely. Thank you and have a great day and a great weekend. Thank yeah, you, you and good luck with all the graduation ceremonies. Yes, indeed. And you heard Dr. Hill just talking about it. Ted, get outside and play.